so um, protest music and yesterday I was with these two uh, ladies and I said uh, I'm going to give a talk on protest music and they said hey, wo kya hota hai? so I figured that maybe I should like define it in the beginning it's self-defined no? protest music you're protesting about something right and generally uh, you're protesting against a perceived or real injustice by and large uh, you I don't call songs saying I don't want to go to school tomorrow as protest music but thoda serious gaane aur beech beech mein hindi bolunga bara mat maanna ha i'm not used to only talking english all the time so protest music is something that i think we've had with us since ever since i was very very privileged to learn all kinds of protest songs in my childhood because my mom used to be a kami and she taught me a lot of ipta songs ipta is the indian people's theater uh, action or something like that and they used to make a lot of protest songs uh, Salil Chaudhary, Bhopen Hajarika, all these are members of uh, IPTA but the most you know like most protest songs you wonder is this a protest song I'll sing you one two lines of one protest song which I love made by one of my most favorite musicians and it goes like this get up stand up stand up for your rights get up stand up don't give up the fight. That's it. He's just sung two lines. You know that this is a protest song. Plus the music is like this, so you're rocking and you're feeling good. And that's the key thing towards good protest songs. That A, the lyrics are important. But B, it must be good musically. There is nothing more boring than a boring political song. And there are lots of boring political songs. Because people sometimes get very serious when they write uh, political songs. Le mashale chal pade hai log mere gaon ke kab talak lutte ra and you're like sab so gaye everybody is fast asleep so protest music has to be really up and happening and interesting now why protest music why do we want songs we want songs because say every movement you'll notice has a bunch of songs associated with it except for probably annas uh, it didn't as far as i know I don't know about any. You know, our uh, freedom movement, but there were a lot of protest music, but it's been eliminated from our consciousness. Do you know anything about uh, songs from the freedom movement? Protest songs? No. You know that Gandhi ji liked hymns. Are yar, thorn na yar. Wo protest gana thorn na hai. There were a lot of protest songs. I have heard from people that there are a lot of protest songs, but we don't have them in our public consciousness today, 60 odd years after independence. We really just don't. Then we move to the 60s and the 70s where we had a whole bunch of protest songs which were known by uh, almost every single activist or anybody who was associated with movements these all tended to be uh, songs from the left the organized left because the organized left by virtue of being organized could teach the same songs across a whole swath of areas and there were some really really nice songs in there can I sing you I want to sing you one such song Joki acha hai, and we will tell you what these songs were about. So it goes Ruke na jo, juke na jo, dabe na jo, mite na jo, humvo in kalabo hai, zulmuka javabo hai, har shahid haga, har shahid har garib ka ham hi to kwabo hai, ruke na jo, ruke na jo, mite na jo, dabe na jo, juke na jo, humvo in kalabo hai, zulmuka javabo hai, har shahid har garib ka ham hi to kwabo hai, ruke na jo, ar lad rahe hai, isliye ki pyar jag me ji sake, pyar jag me ji sake, admi ka khun ko i admi na pi sake, admi na pi sake, maliko. Maliko Mazdur ke nokro Hazur ke Fark ko mitayenge Samanata ko laayenge Ruke na jo Thikai ho gaya Malik Mazdur We will eliminate differences Everybody will be equal It's a very left style of thinking Mainly operating on the dimension of class Sab kuch class ke usme interpret hota hai Caste, gender, environment, resource Yeh kuch khas unke zahen mein hi nahi tha and TK, that was the time. They also used to sing about, you know, uh, like there's a Bengali song, which is um, ki all, everybody in the workers of the world unite type thing. So, a gana hai kya hai? Ek chatti no dir golpo shono, dekhe che prithobir lokkhonoyon, 
ভারতের গঙ্গা চীনের ইয়াংসে মিসিসিপি ভিয়েতনামের মিকং ওকে সো ভারত চীন মিসিসিপি ভিয়েতনাম ইটস অল উই আর টকিং অ্যাবাউট দ্য ফিশারম্যান ইন অল দিস ফোর কান্ট্রিজ এন্ড হাউ দে অল হোয়াট এভার সো ইটস আ নোশন অফ এভরিবডি ইন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড ইজ ফাইটিং সামথিং টুগেদার হুইচ ইজ গ্রেট অ্যান্ড দে মেড সাম গ্রেট সংস বাট অ্যারাউন্ড দ্য লেট এইটিজ থিংস স্টার্টেড চেঞ্জ ক্যা বদলা obviously present when you make a statement like this people say hmm okay but i'm going to do a lot of things i'm going to say these things and all of these statements are open to interpretation question debate etc etc but right now i got the mic you don't right <laughs> so baad mein in my mind what changed was two three things happened one the global left collapsed right within india the decline of the left and its gradual irrelevance started at the same time liberalization started in india and with liberalization came a very intensified increase in the extraction of resources hota tha aise nahi hai ki nahi ho raha tha resources were being extracted but there's been a quantum jump in the amount of let's say forest land going away to mining or to irrigation or to this or to dams or to this there has been a sharp increase in inequality yes a lot of people are moving into the middle class but you have no idea what's happening down there because in cities frankly you don't see too much of what's happening in the countries countryside movements like the narmada bachao andolan started campaigning on resource issues right they were not left led movements the organized left really actually saw environment as a sort of ye kya hai humne to kharab kar diya russia mein yahan kyun tum baat kar rahe ho iske bare no so whatever so they were away these guys started doing these movements and they realized that the old songs don't work anymore because the issues are now local local issues local people local languages local songs because if you're mobilizing people let's say in the narmada valley you're mobilizing people you have to sing in the language of the people so either you sing in nimadi or you sing in bhilali if you organize organizing in odisha you sing in odia you don't sing ruke na jo mite na jo because to a man who's losing his land he doesn't care if he is one with the fighter in afghanistan or vietnam he's saying my land is going man fight for my land so what happens is that with these changing issues the music changes and my question has been i've been exploring this for a while that how has protest music how is the direction of protest music changed so i'd like to play you a song that i came across a short while ago it's been around for a few years i think it really encapsulates the kind of song that defines protest music now and it's called hum gaon chhod ab nahi hum jangal chhod ab nahi anyway this song has been originally made by a man called bhagwan maji who was leading a fight in uh jharkhand against a bauxite mining which was displacing a lot of villages from his area and he wrote a version of this song which then uh, a friend of mine called Meghnath Akhra who's a documentary filmmaker and activist who's been working in Jharkhand for years then made into hindi made into certain lyrics and they have gone and recorded this in a studio in ranchi so the production quality is not great but the sense of the song is something that you guys will get the minute you hear it <laughs> निकल जा जमीन से हे आयरन और चाहिए निकल जा जमीन से हे सेंचुरी चाहिए निकल जा जमीन से गो वे यू आर नॉट वॉन्टेड यू आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ अस यू हैव टू पे द प्राइस So these are things that people are singing about now in the rural areas. Okay, I was very pleased to know that these songs are being made and it's very interesting because you know that I know one song or I know two songs there must be a hundred other songs out there and that's one thing I'd like you know people to go and search and find songs and give them to me. Yeah. 
because I want to, you know, I want to learn more about this. My second question I asked when researching what's happened to protest music is why there is no urban protest music by poor people. You know, you live in Delhi, I live in Delhi. I, uh, we all see the slums. I have rickshawalas outside my house. Why are these people who are living fairly miserable lives not protesting against these lives even in song, there is no, does anybody know? I don't know. There is no poor people's urban protest music in India. I searched, I didn't find. And what I realized was, ek do din, like, you know, you're walking past a slum and these guys are sitting around and they're singing. What they're singing is they're singing songs from the village. So they're singing about a land they have left. They're singing nostalgia, they're not singing protest. And my theory about that is that poor people in slums congregate by where they're from. So we have come from here. So they sing, everybody sings songs from there, songs from there, songs. Nobody gets together and says, how about today? Can we sing about what's happening to us today? Nobody does that. Okay. And this is something I, I hope comes about. Because the blues kaha se aaya. If the blues could arise, if rap could arise, protest music by oppressed people, then surely something in India must come up. And I'm hoping for it. But what has come up in urban areas in India is what I call middle class music. Okay? And middle class music has a very different way of treating lyrics. You know, lyrics have this beautiful way of putting together complex, multi-layered ideas into very simple words that anybody can sing. But a lyricist from the Gao writes very differently, from the village writes very differently from an educated person living in a city. And they sing about different things because we middle class people are not losing our land. We're not losing our forest. But what we are, we are, you know, pollution, the corruption, politicians, all of this is what we are facing. So the tendency is to sing about things like this. And so I want to play you a song by uh, friends of mine, a band called Swaratma, and they made a song called Topi Wale which is a satirical song about politicians, okay? Or ye hai number. Nice, no? It's like a reggae beat, they've got this, they've got guitars, and they're singing in Hindi and they're just taking off on politicians. This I call middle class educated protest music, right? I want to move to another kind of protest music, which is again urban based. And this next song has been written by a guy called Rushan Ilahi, who's also known as MC Cash. He's a 23 year old rapper from Srinagar in Kashmir, right? And he wrote this song in 2010 when Kashmir was burning, stone throwing. This boy, remember, has never seen pandits in Kashmir. All he has seen since he's grown up is strife, guns, battles, protests, separatism. This is what he has seen. And it's very interesting that he chooses to sing it in rap. I wish I could play you the whole song because his lyrics are pretty interesting. This is in English. I'm just going to play you the chorus part, okay? Number teen, sir. I protest for my brother who's dead. I protest for stones and never run. I protest don't my freedom is So this guy basically says, I protest about the blood in the streets. I protest. I'll throw stones and never run. I protest for the mother who's lost her son. I protest for my brother who's dead. I protest against the bullet in his head. This is very powerful stuff. And when this guy was invited to come and sing in Delhi, uh, he was attacked and he was not allowed to perform. His studio in Srinagar was shut down by the cops. But he still continues to do work and uh, he's written a whole bunch of songs and you can find him on YouTube if you really look. So this is protest against the state. Kashmir, and I now want to play you a protest song from the other part of India, the Northeast, 
from Manipur, a friend of mine called Akhu, who's a Manipuri protest songwriter, who has written a song about Irom Sharmila. Irom Sharmila is a lady who's been on hunger strike for the last 11 years. And she's one of the most iconic figures you can imagine in our country. Yet the amount of attention she gets in the national media is almost close to nothing. If you go to Manipur, you will know why this guy is singing protest songs. Now what happened is Akhu wrote this song in Manipuri and I asked him, Akhu, thoda, sing it a little bit in English also, na? because three million people in the world understand Manipuri, maybe. But if you sing it in English, you'll get through to more people. So Akhu said, no, no, you sing in English now because nobody understands my English. So this is me singing, but this is all Akhu's song, Akhu's tune, translated number. Ten years they've kept you captive in jails, courts, and hospitals of Sharmila. My sister, ten years back, they killed ten of us. Okay, so it's a very, very different style of singing. It's a very different from Topi Wale, very different from Gao Chodab Nahi. But he's singing about Sharmila. And he's saying, you know, you have given us strength. And through you, we can learn. And she goes on to say, you know, Sharmila's story will tell the whole world how to love. So this, I find this very encouraging. The fact that these kind of protest songs are being written all over our country. Now, as part of my band, uh, Indian Ocean, We've also been singing some songs that might be interpreted as protest songs. A couple of songs, I just want to play you just half a minute of two songs. There's one song called Hillele Jhak Jor Dunia, okay, written by a man called Gorak Pandey, who's a, who was a ML writer, poet. And the next song is a song called Nakedar, which has been written by a tribal activist and poet from uh, Thane Jilla in Maharashtra. And it was heard by a friend of mine who's a Bilali tribal from Madhya Pradesh, Jabua. He translated it into Bilali. He taught it to me. And uh, this song is interesting because what the second song says is uh, Renzer Ave. Renzer means forest ranger. So the forest ranger comes to my village and asks for money as a bribe. Renzer Ave Poihamange. We will not give it to you the way we used to earlier. Vagne Vasara Amu Adivasira, because we Adivasis are the bachade of tigers. So it's a song against corruption, it's a song against how the state treats them, and it's a song asking for Adivasi uh, self realization, identity. So, like I said, a lot of complicated ideas put into a very simple little thing. Okay? Dono Bajado, sir, Paach or Che. Etc. Etc. Sixth. we are trying to do, I think what we are doing by playing these songs is to take songs that are essentially local and rearrange them to an idiom which is acceptable to people across, not just India but across the world because we play this everywhere. And so bring these songs out and uh, push the idea of singing protest music more and more. And with that, I'll stop. Thank you.